what if I told you that the mid-year lows are not in for the market? I bet you'll believe me by the end of this video. And I'll tell you what stock right now has my golden setup that has an insane win rate, which usually leads to my biggest plays. Let's hop into it. I was down, but now I'm up. Yeah. It's all got to say no. Love. Yeah. Futures are up right now, and if we look at SPY, we can see we're actually testing the highs from Friday. If you break above this, I think you should start looking for 5.16. If you get a breakthrough 5.16, start looking for 5.21. Break above that, then you're looking for all-time highs on the market. Very bullish, right? But there's something you need to pay attention to. We can see on the one hour that we've clearly broke this trend line, right? We had this nice clean trend line right here with these three points, and we can see that we're clearly above that, which leads to the bullish movement I think we'll see at the beginning of the week. However, you need to keep an eye on this structure that we're seeing right here. What does this look like? It looks like a bear flag, a very, very clean, large bear flag. So even though I think this could go a little bit higher, if we use fibs, we can actually get that 516, potentially all the way up to the 521. It could even maybe go to 528, which would probably then put the bulls back in control and be an invalidation of the bear flag. It could happen, but right now, this looks like a bear flag. And the other thing you need to pay attention to at the historical analysis of election years, if you look at May and June, you could see that's typically when you get that mid-year bottom before you have a nice rally into July and August. And then you don't really see another retracement all the way until October and November before you get another rally into the end of the year. Remember, I've been saying this the whole time, even when I've been bearish on these videos, this is election year. It is very, very bullish. And that's without the AI hype. We can actually see NVIDIA firing to the upside on the daily TTM. Remember, we have earnings for this stock coming up later this month. Do not forget. And in the short term, I'm going to be watching these key targets if we get a break above those Friday highs. I think this is a very appealing stock to chase. Now, what you might want to play instead of NVIDIA would be AMD. If you're in a smaller account, this is going to be cheaper to play. Again, it's not as bullish on the daily, but we are seeing lots of improvements on the TTM and you're coming in on this stock after a nice retracement from these highs. It's been beaten down. And I think a lot of people are going to consider this more appealing than NVIDIA, more interest might build this week and might help improve those technicals some. Although remember, you aren't quite getting the same bullish signals in the short term as you are with NVIDIA. And so now let's talk about Apple. Apple was the big trade of the week last week. We got this massive pump after earnings. It didn't happen for the reasons I was looking for at all, but it ended up going right in the money. I had the 185 calls, Discord members were very excited, but there's one big thing that I think we need to be paying attention to, and that's all the selling from the big players on Apple stock. Buffett, largest position, he owns 50% Apple. He sold tons of Apple stock, and this would be in line with what we've seen so far this earnings season. When Meta and Google had these big beats and these big rallies after earnings, they ended up having pullbacks. And we can see on the daily chart, even though we're having this break to the upside, we can see we're still printing a red candle. It's pretty odd to see that, but that's how much selling pressure against all the retail chasing this and buying it, or even some institutions are coming in and buying this because they love stock buybacks. Personally, I think that this shows that Apple is likely dying off. The fact that they don't want to use all this excess cash to invest in innovation, to try and be a leader instead of following all the trends and being late to everything. I think it's awful. I, I would just love to see this company not be such wussies, such babies. But hey, what are you going to do? I can't I got, I got run the company. I'm just playing the chart. So I'm looking for a fake on Apple. You break these lows last Friday, and I'm actually looking to short it. Uh, and I think that, you know, this might not be the strongest play, especially since the rest of the market would be bullish, but it wouldn't be the first time where we see Nvidia drags by higher and then Apple just melts. And remember, this is not like it was in the previous years. Lots of people have been completely thrown off by this. Lots of people also thought that SPY would have a massive spike after the huge Apple win, after the big 
you know, what was that even? A $13 move on Apple stock? They thought SPY'd be up massive. But remember, Apple's kind of fallen from their leadership position. Microsoft is now king of the castle. So this isn't have the same allocation on the S&P as it has in the past, where it's been a pretty big risk factor, in fact, for the indexes. But overall, I think we have some great setups this week. I have high expectations for how this will probably turn out. And that's great after the past two weeks. We've been a mix of like rough and boring. Two weeks ago, I, I, I that's probably like one of the worst weeks so far this year. Still had a positive win rate, but it was a rough ride. It was more survival rather than thriving and i think this week we're going to get back to some nice trends some nice price action if we also look at the economic data for this week there's not a lot going on we probably just want to pay attention to these initial jobless claims that could be a market mover i don't think it's a trend changer or a trend setter but could just be a market mover careful carrying day trades into that. You probably also want to keep an eye on these bond auctions. We're seeing some interesting movements out of the bond market. And on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, these auctions could also have some effect. Couldn't find it there for a minute. But the other thing that could be playing out that leads to this rally in the market is that might be trying to create an environment that actually lowers yields for them so they don't have to lower interest rates for now, creating some relief. It's a game that Jerome Powell and Yellen are playing, and I'm not gonna go super heavy into the details, honestly, to explain it, unless you ask for it. If you want the detailed explanation, put it in the comments down below, and I'll explain it. But the important thing for us as traders is just follow the chart, follow the price action. Macro moves slow, okay? So it's not anything that we can get excited about in the moment, all right? What we need to follow is the trends and the price action. We can have our theories, but we don't sculpt those onto the market because that's how you get humbled. And now let's talk about the golden setup. The setup that I usually make the most money on every time it pops up. I have a 95% win rate with this setup on the market. It's so strong, usually an indication of a third wave, which usually turns into a strong trend that lasts several months no, it's not Tesla, it's Baba. It's a Chinese stock. I'm about to be right on one of my yearly predictions. Go back to January, I can't believe it's actually playing out, but we're breaking out of a five month trend on this stock and it's firing on the daily and on the weekly in tandem on the TTM. That means I'm about to get very bullish on the stock. If we get above Thursday's highs, I'm gonna move in on this and I'll post the trades, the setups with multiple expirations and strikes in the Discord. So if you wanna know everything I'm doing, all the moves I'm making, how we manage to succeed in the market no matter what happens, to be consistently profitable traders and learn and shadow from me and what I do, learn to think like a pro. I am turning way too salesy right now. This is. It even, it even made me quit listening to myself. <laughs> You'll enjoy the Discord, trust me. And that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.